Good morning. Wasn't sure my mic was on. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. This is Dan Rather. Oh, hang on. I just realized my fan's on. It's probably loud. It always gets stuffy in here when I have the door shut. So I had the had the airflow going. So much PA in my life since Sunday. Glad you're here for it. Thanks for being here. Feel so behind missing the unscheduled streams? Don't ever feel behind because there's always going to be one tomorrow at this rate. <laughs> at this rate, we're just going to flip it on tomorrow, which we are. Um, I'm actually saving. I have a little unboxing um, tomorrow. We're going to save for tomorrow, so we'll do the, do the post show. Is there a way to listen to the live show on your phone without using a browser because that sucks? I doubt it. Like, I don't think so. So browser, IRC, unless there's a, like an IRC client for your phone, I don't know. Field notes email just showed up, are you kidding me? That's what we get for going, uh, did they release the details? Tainted Crimson, where's your alert? Oh no! Four months, a subbing, let's go. Getting rid of the app has made it a PITA to listen to live. Yeah, I don't I don't even know. I didn't even know the app was gone. But I guess they just never never ramped that up. But yeah, I don't know if there's an IRC app that might be good, but that's about all. See this orange collection, they get the ping that Panatic is live. King crab orange collection. Oof. Noise. Luckily, I don't need any of that. But that's a good, good orange there, Yete. I want to say that one for one, that one year for a keyboard is not bad when I've been waiting almost years for Hippo Noto. Oof. Oof. Thanks for always keeping me company in my drawing studio. Inking a Tribune Tower image this morning. Nice. I help you keep in the lines. Is that good? Uh, I'm going to take that. I'm going to say that's good that I, I help Slumberland Studio focus staying in the lines. I think that's a win, win for me. Um, so field notes, anyone, anyone? Let's see if I'm on the mailing list. Just saw the field notes. Let me text Mike. Maybe we need to do an emergency pod. That's what we get for going on Tuesday this week. Oh, thank you. You didn't get the email. Red alert, 50th quarterly edition. Back to basics. Love. All right, let's do a, um, I'm gonna pull the video up on stream. Hopefully I won't get in trouble for that. I doubt I will, let's see. So this is this video. Is this thing going? All right, feel, don't take, just, okay, sorry. <laughs> it started 15 years, more than 40 films, three hours and 28 minutes, thousands of miles traveled. However you wanna quantify it, over the years, we've made a lot of films. And then I'm not going to be in Jim's later or anything, no. With one for nearly every single one of our quarterly editions. We visited printers across the Midwest. Hey, like, let me show you around. Let me, uh, okay. Yes, let me show you around. Opened a pop-up shop in rural Iowa. Okay, so just step back. Otherwise... Traveled from coast <laughs> to coast. I love their videos. Overnighted out in the middle of nowhere to capture the stars and their courses. But just as often, we've taken over a conference room, or carved out a space in the warehouse. Go ahead. Uh, we're ready to work like sharp. Yeah. Or pushed everything aside to fake a trip to the moon. We've cast our families and everyone in the office to play parts in these things. They're printed. <laughs> Sorry. Should every quarter. I'm like looking into Brian's eyes. We've art directed to I like to look into Brian's eyes too. In service of a joke. Sorry, let's go back. We 
you've interviewed? The look that I found back here for the 9,000.4. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. We've shot three dozen takes <laughs> to get the book to land where it needed to. We've done a lot of that. Some ideas have worked great the first time. Some have taken a little more effort. Some we've shot and didn't wind up using at all. One of the big reasons we started Field Notes was to be able to make the sorts of things. Look at Brian! Hey, let's just see what happens. All right. I mean, you want to you want to ask a question or? And the films are part of that. We've gotten to experiment, to learn, to get better, to see new things, to make ourselves laugh. <laughs> Selling notebooks, sure, but just as much, we're making these for us, and we've taken it on faith that other people, like us, might like them too. Here's to the next 50. Yeah, they didn't show the new notebooks very much, but do they ever? I guess sometimes they do. All right, hang on. Let me uh, let me get this back to normal. <clears throat> All right, so let me uh, let's see. <laughs> Mike says, "Damn it, come on, guys." Well, it's all my fault. So yeah, there we go. So no emergency edition, but the quote that I wanted is right here whoops I am big it too much gah doesn't like it when you embiggen too much we've gone back to basics yes so it's like a fire engine red looking cover red hot French paper co Silver metallic ink surrounded 48 pages of silver graph garret grid. Um, pop tone red hot. Feature of 50 peeking through a die cut circle. Three different flyleaf colors. Those are on the interior. Recalling three specific quarterly editions. Safety orange from Dime Novel. Night shift blue from End Papers and Gumdrop. Green from Grass Stain Green. Grass Stain Green fam. Let's go. Creating this set, we've been thinking about all the additions that came before it. Sorry, Mike's texting me now. Um, and then you get all purchases made at our site, which include one or more 50 three packs will also receive a fun kiss cut adhesive stamp set celebrating great moments and field note finishing so here is spine stitching that's pretty funny <laughs> mike said he thinks he's gonna sub again what took so long if all that seems pretty good hang on because we're just getting started Maybe you didn't notice, but we're a bit late with our spring release this year. Here's why. Subscribers will also receive an exclusive 9 by 55 anniversary desk ledger. That is just about the most complicated and fun thing we've ever made. Well, I guess I'm going to subscribe now, too. Six 16-page signatures. All right, <clears throat> they win. <sighs> Field notes, you win. I want the book. I mean, I want these notebooks, but I want the book. Field notes, you win. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
added to cart. Let's see if I have an account on here. It's been so long since I've ordered from Field Notes. Yeah, I was pretty sure I spelled that wrong. There we go. Hey, I do have an account. Supernatural possession. All right, let's check out before I go shopping for other stuff. Almost done. Yeah, I like it. They did good. I, this is what I was hoping for. Just buy the books in the ledger without subbing? Yeah. That's how they get you. Hey, good morning, podcast planner. All right. Done. All right. I think they did good. So you're going to have to wait a week to hear mine and Mike's thoughts. But I think you pretty much know them. Of all the days they release on a Tuesday of all the weeks. Welcome back, Field Notes. Not not that they went anywhere. I just haven't bought them in a couple years. All right, cool. Let's see. All right. How are y'all doing? That was a surprise. <laughs> Mike's laughing at both of us right now. Just gonna get the books either. I'll buy the ledger off one with field notes have five subscriptions. <laughs> That's funny. Parks edition was super cool. I don't think I ended up with any of those. I forget where I stopped. Somewhere in the around forty. I'll have to look. I need to bring my uh collection would be a good uh I have the uh like the the shelf stack, like the three level stack thing. I should put that back there with uh, all the original editions. That would be a good good viewing thing. I'm late, do we like this edition? I like this edition because it's your basic edition, which is what I wanted, which is what I was hoping for, honestly. I was really hoping for, give me something straightforward, little throwback to the past, straightforward notebooks story, um, yeah. So I'll save I'll save most of those thoughts, but I think it's pretty clear where I stand on this. You listened to the Lego special yesterday? Did you uh, did you pull your hair out? <laughs> Felt Mike's frustration in your soul. That was a tough part because it looked it didn't look right when we got done with it, but I guess it was technically correct. So whatever. <sighs> All right, I felt like. I had a lot to talk about. And now I don't. Like the field notes kind of threw me off. <laughs> I guess I, I, what I want to figure out is the last edition that I subscribed to. Was it Butcher Blue? No. What is the last edition I subscribe to? I, got, I need to go look. Butcher Blue was the second color. Previous editions. Nope, 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 nope. I 
think Autumn in group 11. So that would be fall 2019, winter 2019. I don't think I had vignette. Yeah, fall 2019, it looks like. Not this fall, like a year ago. Fall. And I haven't bought any of the... Bought any since. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> I have so many unopened packs. I have so many unopened packs, I started sending them out as giveaways. We'll do some we'll do some giveaways of field notes. Should we do a field notes giveaway today? Just in in honor of the field notes fiftieth anniversary release. I don't know if I have any in the in the ice box of happiness. We might have to go to the official closet of doom to pull out a field notes set. Because I saved all of those for the notebook giveaways, like the random notebook giveaways that I gave up. Oh, gave up. Gave away. Dime novel was a classic. Dime Novel release was when we did our interview at Field Notes because we got to see all the source material Dime Novels that they used. So that one had just come out when we did our in-office in, in interview. Coastal version was great. You saw me use that one on a trip a couple years ago. Will we ever get a Closet of Doom showing? Absolutely. But right now I can't even get into it because my wife has a bunch of her uh, camera tri lighting tripod set up in there. It's driving me crazy. Autumn is a great addition. So let me let me see if I have a field notes uh, in here. And if not, I'll go grab. Do I have something to give away? Yeah, I'll probably go find something to give away. It feels like we should do a field notes. I have I have this for Tessa though. Least Tomoe River. Yep. I don't have any field notes in there, so I'm going to go grab one. It's just rubbing salt in the hippo wounds. I'm going to give that away soon. All right, I'm going to go grab a field notes so we can give it away. Hang tight. Somebody say coastal. It's the first one I saw. East Coast. This is the East Coast pack. Brad's chair stream. Chair stream. So, yeah, throw this up here. So, this is the coastal east. Traveling Salesman's a classic. Probably top five. This one makes a makes a claim though, way up on the list. Best Coast Pack, agreed. So this was literally the first one I saw in there. So I grabbed it. Great, great addition. The uh, the reticle color on the pages is a gradient grid. It's really cool. Some greens to blues. Wish Field Notes had made something for us in the middle. I mean, we have the Mississippi. I I wouldn't be surprised if like some Mississippi, some Rivers edition. Have they ever done Rivers? Some Mississippi Delta through the complete North the shipping lanes, Ohio's. 
Ooh, somebody woke Paul up. Dang, Paul coming in with the haymakers. Yeah, the flyover edition. I'd be down for the flyover edition, just like National Crops. That's, National Crops is kind of like the flyover edition. One of the best editions ever. Now, that one's top five. National Crops is top five. Would it be wrong for someone on the West Coast to win the East Coast pack? Nay. So, Brad, Tomoe River may be going away forever. So, I've caught some of this discussion. Um, let's do this giveaway, and then let's talk about this Tomoe River thing, because... I don't want y'all to get too angsty. Because I'm on the on the outside looking in. But let's do this first. So Field Notes Coastal. Early giveaway. Although we're not going to be here forever today. Field Notes Coastal. All right, let's do this giveaway. My phone is off mute since the uh, podcast is over. Sorry about that. Open giveaway. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win. Except Alan, who might never win. I am I think this might be Alan's time. I, I'm going to call it. This is Alan's time. Stained reference. I don't even know what I said to make a stained reference. If I did, I assure you it was on accident. I assure you of that. I was just checking out the field note says has the 50th details posted. Yes, we just went through it. Uh, right when we launched the stream, it came out and they sucked me back in for a sub. Hello, killer sheep. I like the uh, the usage of the pen emote. I like how y'all now write things on the pen. Kudal has an essay. Oh, cool. I'll need to go read that. No, no one can. No one can donate. They're winnings to Allen. That's the rules. No, no one can donate. That uh, invalidates. We donated to our new listeners. Good morning, Svava Blount. We donated to our new listeners yesterday. I'm good with that. We do not donate to our old listeners. Kudos to stream every day. We got two more days to go. What about donating to a loser? Oof. That was blocked for bullying, Italian A. Oof. That was a big oof. <laughs> All right. That giveaway is closed. The winner is... Duck of Prey! Duck of Prey. Winner. Duck of Prey. Yes. All right. There is a Discord. It's for Relay FM members. So it is a private Discord for members only of the Relay FM network. You can listen for free via browser, via IRC at relay.fm slash live. Um, all right. Tomoe River Paper is apparently going away. Maybe for good. So my, so they, all right, let's read Alan's, let's read Alan's um, comment. There was a Facebook post reportedly from Tomoegawa that explained they shut down machine number seven in December 19th, which ran the old Tomoe River paper and moved it to machine number nine, which is new Tomoe River paper. But Tomoegawa is ending machine number nine in September 2021. They are evaluating moving it to another machine, but no info on when or if that decision might be made. So 
so yeah like it's tough like mike says too bad for hobonichi that's about the only tomoe i use uh hobonichi user quivering yeah so i felt good morning want to explore so yeah all the companies who want to use the paper for their notebooks i felt maybe this is hindsight speaking but i really thought it was a mistake to continue calling it Tomoe River Paper when the change was that drastic. I think they should have rebranded it then. Now that doesn't, I mean, that messes things out now, you know, with, you know, that it looks like that's an easier answer now that they're going to discontinue that. But I think they should have rebranded that at the time. But again, this is also a company that I don't know really cares about the stationary market, right? Like that's not what they're in business for. They're a mass market printer, right? Do I have this? Thank you, Lala38, for the follow. So, I don't know, that's easy for me to say, but just looking at it from the outside, the original is so different from the new and the new is completely usable but if we called the new one something else maybe it wouldn't have been as painful but yeah like uh bleeper blorp i'm with you i don't use it that much except special occasions but yeah it's i mean it sucks i'm like i'm not discounting it so um Cosmo Air Light doesn't work well with other writing instruments. I agree with that. I can't use Cosmo Air Light. Um, Mike, no problem going back to the other planner. Yeah, Jibun Techo. They make they make their own paper. Did they make a big deal about making Kokuyo making their own paper? Kokuyo paper is my hope. Queen of Washi. Um, Kakuyo is fantastic. Maybe if more of them push the croquis paper into more lines. I still got to do my Gliffy versus croquis comparison. I'm not convinced they're the same. The 60 GSM cream, I'm not convinced they're the same, so I got to do that. I'm sad Yoseka's notebook paper is apparently discontinued. That was such an interesting uh, interesting paper. Um, Jibun Techo, Tomoe Creek. <laughs> yeah, that would be fine. Maybe that's why every other brand has been making their own proprietary paper. Writings on the wall. Feel bad for the people who live to post ink splotches. I think we'll be okay in the ink splotch market. I tried the Cosmo Air Light. Feels like writing in a magazine. I agree. I'm 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 fully on the bank paper bandwagon, and that's what the croquis reminds me of. The question is if Tomoegawa are possibly discontinuing due to sales, dropping hint stationary attic present more of a percentage of sale. Who knows? I mean, it's an old industry, right? Who knows? But they, they keep shutting down machines that had very specific tasks. Who knows? Yeah, like I'll never forget going into the printer we used in Atlanta. They had one of those... Um, like uh it seemed like a like a 70 or 80 yard long machines you know where it starts way down there and goes all the way down here and they end up selling that machine just because they couldn't run it enough to afford to keep the maintenance on it midori md and graffillo are more to my liking than tr so i'm sad but i will persevere yeah like tomoe river is an awesome to have it's not core to my writing ever it's special which is good. Like special is good. Like I'm I'm for special. I haven't even started down the paper rabbit hole. I'm good at starting out with basic pens. Yeah, that's good. Midori, uh, excuse me, Tomoe River. For those who don't know, like Killer Sheep, it was a highly specific page that worked amazingly with fountain pens and inks. So it is it worked so well. It ended up being kind of like the default fountain pen paper. And now it's kind of maybe going away.
I hate losing the older machines. They die forever, which leads to things like a loss of the shaper nib manufacturer machines. Yeah. <clears throat> Still need to try bank paper. I'm currently using Masubi Cal for journaling. It's wonderful for stub nibs, but I don't think it'll be a daily driver for me. Yeah. Definitely not a... Uh, Cosmo Air Light's not a daily paper for me. Yeah, Tainted Crimson, I think, is is the big question. That's what Mike was saying early. What is Hobonichi going to do? Now, if anyone can pull this off, it's probably them. It's like Hobonichi, Midori, Kakuyo, I think could all... I mean, Kakuyo and Midori kind of already have their things. But I think Hobonichi, I trust them to make it work. I have faith that they're going to make something great. The, the kicker is the the volume of the page was so nice. That's what made the Hobonichi so special with those Tomoe's bound and any bound Tomoe River paper, 52 uh, GSM Tomoe River paper. That was the magic. Yes, it worked amazing with fountain pens, but it's because you could get 300 pages in like this thick. B7 Tora. I haven't tried that. I don't even know what that is. Also, old Tomoe River is going to be like Parker Penman Sapphire. Probably not that bad, but there will be hoarding. Yes, Aurelius garbage bags are for gas. I think it's going to be hardest for products like Hobonichi that the Tomoe River paper was a part of its identity. That's very true. They've gotten so big. I hope they are able to shift this accordingly. I hope so. Hey, Brooks. It would be cool if Hobo brought the old Tomoe River machine. Now, that's that's a Kickstarter I'd get behind. Uh, International Paper, they're part of a conglomerate. And I don't know who that's. That's big. That's big printer. Big printy. Yeah, I have, like, I don't have a huge need. I have some <coughs> Bonotos and um, at least one folio. How much does the machine like that cost and run to? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. These are large industrial machines. Take me off the ledge, Brad. DHL has screwed me big time and my meds aren't strong enough. That's some bull. Feel free to text me if you need to vent. That... That doesn't sound good. DHL is generally pretty uh, pretty decent, so that's bad. And they're probably custom designed and made. Yeah, so those prop those um, yeah those types of machines have a lot of customizations because they. Gen I mean, I'm just speaking from the printers that I've seen, not being a printer, but they like come in sections and like they have jobs for each section and it's very specific and um, all kinds of things like that. So. They are mega expensive. And like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in like the size and scope. Like the printer that our printer used to use, I that had to be like a seven figure machine, if not more. And then to ha have someone whose job is to maintain that. And like when it goes down, you know, they the whole thing goes down. It's like, yeah, do you have a Hulk smash fist? Brooks, I just get that out. Find some uh, find some trashed up materials and just start going Hulk smash. Panatic could do it. What could I do? They're going to cost you a huge account. Oof. That's not good. That is not good at all. There was a steel coated branded nib on Reddit for $100 the other day. I don't put... I need to, uh, should I sell my Monarch? That's the question. I'm not opposed to it. Get the machine and run the Tomoe River line. That would be a nightmare. 2020 Pinatic Kickstarter by the TR Press. 
Sell your Monarch, pay for the uh, pay for the Tomoe River machine. Screw college. <laughs> there you go, Nate. Nate Champion. Make a custom material on IG called DHL can insert expletive and get Leonardo to make a new pen. There you go. I think that's the move. New material, suck it DSL, DHL. Make it red and yellow. That's the play. That is the play. Take your take your rage out. <clears throat> Take your rage out on the, the DHLs. Sorry, I'm super fidgety today. I apologize, y'all. Like, I'm banging pencils. I've been, I had to put the tape away because I was flipping and spinning the tape. <sighs> Let me put this down. I don't know why I'm super fidgety. I don't feel fidgety, but I am. I guess it's because I don't have anything for show and tell today, really. Other than this which I opened the other day. These refills are generally not good. So the Lamy proprietary refills that go in the Pico are generally not good. This one's exceptionally poor. <laughs> How much coffee have you drunk? Not enough. So they use these little M22 cartridges. This is a black one. See, it's a little baby, little baby ink cartridge. Isn't it cute? Except it sucks. So I usually replace these with the fine blue ones or the blue ones, maybe if they only come in medium. This is the black one that came with the pen and it's terrible. Yeah, so I have another Pico that I've replaced it with the blue refill. It's awesome. This one is not good. So I'm gonna get, I need to get a new free. It's just a very weak black and I don't like it. I like blue ball points anyway but this one's just it's just poor poor refill broad blue one and it's pretty okay yeah so i've had the blue ones that have been fine so this one just is the stock one and uh haven't been happy cute and useless like most babies Oof. always hated those refills never had good luck with them yeah i just don't have any to swap it out i'm always swapping these out and i didn't on this one and i'm regretting that decision so a fidget pin with a mid-axis barrel so you could spin it would be cool. They have those somewhere. Someone made those. That seems like a, a Kickstarter that I've seen before. This is a pretty good fidget pan. Pin. Pan. Pen. Pin. Pan. Pan. Pen. This is what you get when I don't have any topics, chat. Is it the Tipo that you can replace with something like the juice? Yes. That is a great choice. Plan. 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 William Hanna Plana. So you, I was noticing this. I was writing some notes with it today. And I was like, I am really not enjoying this. <laughs> That's when I know it wasn't good. I was like, I'm not critical on a lot of pins, but this refill is not doing it for me. So we had to switch a Rooney it. Switch the Rooney. Um, I'm gonna I will tease y'all. So we'll open this tomorrow. Y'all see that? Ben's doing something new, he said. He's going to send it to me. Pepperberry. Nice. I'll have to try the Van Diemen's. I wonder if I have I have a whole box of Van Diemen's samples. I'll have to see if that's in it. More gravitas. Oh, Sarah, Ben wanted your email to thank you. Uh, may I send it to him? We're going to conduct a little business here on stream. So I don't know what it is. And Ben, Ben, he just emailed me yesterday. I forget about what it wasn't even about Sarah's review. It was about something else. I forget what it was. He's like, "Hey, by the way, I've sent you some pens." And then they showed up the next day. So he 
<laughs> he didn't even let me know when he sent them. Um, feels like two pins in here. So we're going to save that for tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's 10 a.m. stream. All right, Sarah. Yes, I will send that on to him. Full bottle of Azure Kingfisher. I don't think anything in life is more enjoyable than listening to Brad drawing with a fountain pen and drinking coffee. That's a pretty good combo. I mean, the Brad part, it's a little sketchy. He's a little kind of a sketchy dude, but the drawing with the good pen and the coffee, I'm down with that. Today, you just get me rambling mindlessly. I need to order the new Gravitas entry pin to review. Looks really cool. I wonder if that's what's in here. He said it was something new. And I haven't seen it. Maybe that's what's in here, Jeffrey. Maybe that's what this is. I'm not going to know until tomorrow. Not going to know till tomorrow. Aren't those um, Van Diemen's ink names good? I have a teal beginner pen from him on the way via Kimberly. Nice. That teal pen, do y'all follow uh, UK Fountain Pens on Instagram? He's on or off there sometime. Anthony? That teal pin he showed on stream yesterday, that one had me looking. That one had me as like, hmm, I need to find out more of this pin that you have. I should probably look it up and show y'all. See if I can find it. See if I'm even logged into Instagram over here because they probably won't let me if I'm not. Because Instagram is a pain in the butt. All right, it is here. So let me find this for you. Hey, look, Carol Brosman right on top. Platinum 3776 UEF 19 minutes ago. Where is... What am I looking for? UK. All right, let me show you all this pen that I saw yesterday that had me curious. And that's the wrong button. So that's the final version. It looks like a rod of material, but whoa, NK mornings with the raid party of 23. Welcome y'all, glad you're here. We're talking about pens. Look at all the raid emotes. I love the raid emotes. I need I need raid emotes. Raid emotes need to go on my list of emotes I need to get, right? So when we raid other people, we can go in there and the pen addicts can raid, do a raid emote just like these. So thank you so much. Thank you for the follows. Um, we talk about pins here. Like we're looking at one right now. I've never seen a raid come in before. We've had a couple small ones. This is a good one though. Like 20 something people, that's awesome. Yay! We talk about pens and paper. If y'all have any questions, want to know about pens or paper more, I would be happy and the chat would be happy to chat. I give away pens and notebooks. I've already given away notebooks these morning. this morning. Gave away this Field Notes Coastal Edition set this morning. Good morning from Oregon. Greetings from Oregon. NK Morning says hi. Love it. Thank y'all so much. Schmevelin with the gift subs. Wow. That's amazing. Welcome, fam. What's your favorite pen? Mine is the Uniball 207. That's a great, great pen. I like the Uniball Signo DX better than the 207 307, but that's also a pretty good one. Like, you cannot go wrong with the 207 307. Um, Craig and Ariana, say hello. Uh, thank you, Schmevelin. That was super, super nice. Yeah, the the DX, you usually, depending on where you live in the U.S., um, they're imported usually. Staples has started to carry them a little bit, but not that much. Rich Sticks, Gift and Subs. All right, y'all need to go follow. Let's see, where is it? NK Mornings, let's see if I can repost this in the... NK Mornings. Let's see if I can link this in the chat so y'all can go follow. All right, 
Let's put that in here so y'all can go follow. Nice. Wow, we got the hype train going. Whoa, 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 what is happening? I want Alan Shuko, five gifted subs. Corinne Barr gifting subs. Subaquatic Toaster gifting subs. What is happening? Y'all are so nice. Holy cow. I should put this down for a second. Y'all are going to do it to me again, chat. Craig and Ariana are working it hard today. They are. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the gift subs, y'all. Y'all are too nice. NK Mornings didn't know what they were getting to getting into when they sent people over here. This is a special stream, special place to be. Um all because of pens. Can you believe that? All because of pens and people. We have the best people. Thank you, NK Mornings. Appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. <clears throat> Man. Thank y'all so much. Hope y'all are having an awesome day. We're having an awesome day over here. <laughs> Schmevelin on fire. Thank you so much. Are we going to summon the hype train? We just did. So that was the 90. Brooks! Paper cat lady! Everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love y'all. <laughs> Cheerleaders are going to need to go to urgent care. We just broke the hype train, I think. Um, I don't even know what to say anymore. My grandpa collected a lot of drug company pens. Do you know of any with resell potential? Not off the top of my head. They generally don't. Those are more like someone would like want the collection of all of that for the design value and the design aesthetic of those pens right if they're especially if they're old like 70s or earlier like the design aesthetic of those types of pens is going to be more valuable than like the singular like brand of those things yeah the viagra pens viagra pens were hot there for a minute for obvious reasons but uh yeah not much, not much anymore. Rich Sticks with all the bits. Thank you so much, guys and gals. Y'all are amazing. Make sure you check out your emotes. You can do all kinds of pen fanciness with the emotes. Um, you can make the you're, you can make the pen say Viagra if you wanted to. Not to distract from the hype train, but there's a new retro at Pen Boutique. Will you shoot the link in here, please? Killer Sheep, 50 bits. Let's go. Hype train, bleep blorp. That's the that's the uh, pen design I love. The hype train pen. That's hilarious. Paul, put the uh, put the retro in the chat, and I'll pull that up. And I want to go back to this other pen here in a second. We'll take a look at it. God, this is amazing, y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Weirded myself out last night seeing glow in the dark pharma giveaway pens. Didn't know that they glowed. Yeah, they had to stop giving those away for the most part. Um, it became too much of a thing, and they started to ban them from uh, being a, a giveaway, um, a, a giveaway or like a freebie, like to, to pharmacists and things like that. Ultimate Teep, Claudia Payne, everyone, if I missed you, thank you for the follows. Thanks for the love. I appreciate y'all. Um, drop that retro 51 in the chat here so I can bring it up. I don't want to search for it. My medical device company has a flat out ban on any sort of promotional. Yeah, they absolutely messed those up, messed those up. They absolutely stopped allowing that to be a promotional thing. Stereo sound, 14 months of subbing. I appreciate you. Alan with more gift subs. I mean, you're going to make me finish that letter, aren't you? 
Oh, rewizzles. I like that one. Bamf. Hype train emote. Let's go. Choo choo. Hype scream. Oh, that poor doggy. He's screaming. I'm just going to let, by the way, I'm not letting the cheerleader stop. We're just going to talk over him. I love it. Ooh. Soyuz project. All right, let's pull this one up. Tony, thanks for the bit. All right, Soyuz project. Oh, that does all. There we go. So the Apollo, this is a collaboration. Let's see. Try to get some different pictures here. It lets me embiggen it, but it doesn't like it when I move the mouse when it's that embiggened. Hey, Claudia, thanks for thanks for the uh, thanking Paper Cat Leia. That's really cool. Ooh, the the clip. Um, they're using like these brushed brushed the clip hardware more than they normally do. Retready uh, after the original Apollo one. Have you not met Retro Fifty One? <laughs> Do you not know who you're dealing with here? <laughs> I like that the, the alerts are still just catching up. They're confusing me. Yeah, I don't expect... I mean, we're pl all pleasantly surprised when Retro does something new and unique, right? Youngest, thanks for the follow. But this is their strength, right? What is the pen that when you see someone that makes you judge them harshly, like, ooh, is he using that pen? I don't know that there's a pen that would make me do that. There is a pencil that would make me do that, and it's called the Wopex. So what the Wopex is, is basically like a fake wood plastic barrel pencil. You've all seen them. They kind of bend like that. It's not real wood in the middle. That's the one where I will uh, judge. Bic stick, I would not judge anyone for. I think Bics are great. Um, I'm trying to think if there really is a pen where I would judge them for, but I don't think there is. I would, I would judge, I would judge you if you used a Wopex though. So look up the Wopex pencil. I will judge you. <laughs> I will judge you. Like I judge Johnny Gamber is one of my best friends in the world. He's he's the one who sent me a Wopex because he likes them. I I judge him for that. I judge Johnny for the Wopex. I love the man. So there you go. There's the retro Soyuz. Thank you, Paul, for uh, bringing that up. We'll circle back on that one in a minute yeah the, the visionaire yeah i'm trying to think of a mainstream mainstream there's no mainstream pen i would judge you know what i i won't judge anyone for this but i do do think oh they think they got something good but it's really not when you buy those bulk generic gel pens like the hundred pack of gel pens don't do that it's going to be a bad experience just buy like the five pack of the uni balls or the pentels or the paper mates or the pilots any of those if you buy like the generic hundred pack of gel and think you like yeah i'm into like the gel pens let's not do that one i won't judge anyone though bitgo two months of sub and thank you so much i appreciate that pins are the thing where you get what you pay for in most cases that's a lot of a lot of it like it, there's obviously a um you know, obviously your mileage may vary with that statement, but generally can speaking, yeah, you do get what you pay for with pens. <clears throat> I will judge you for using that pilot disposable fountain pen. <laughs> the varsity, nah, see, I won't because that's a lot of people's first fountain pen. They're just easy. Surprised that TPA dropped today and didn't get posted tomorrow. When we record the show, Mike just wants to go ahead and get the edit done immediately after. So he will drop it usually within an hour of us being done just to be done with it. We better get Johnny in here to defend his beloved Wopex. We might have to do a friend of the show with Johnny to do a Wopex thing. What is the dream pen? The pen above all pens? 
probably the chaos pin montagrappa chaos pin what i love doing is when i see someone using a montblanc ballpoint and i ask them if they know why it's an expensive pin and they can't answer um but can anyone answer that a question a question i'm not sure that is an answerable answerable question <laughs> unless the answer is marketing see you paper cat lady thank you so much for the gift subs thanks for hanging out i really 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 appreciate you varsity is good but preppy preppy blows it away absolutely but the varsity is accessible so oh it's the precious resin i was gonna say that on mike today when he's talking about resin but i could never fit it in <laughs> but yeah the preppy is definitively a better pen it is just not as accessible so if someone likes the the uh, varsity i'm all in to be fair parker totally claims to use precious resin too montblanc ballpoint is a great pen so yeah i've used their refills the most precious pen is the Montegrappa Eye of Sauron. Facts. Don't ask us to defend Mont Blanc pricing. I'll never defend. I have no problem with Mont Blanc pricing. Because, because like they have bought into what they are. I I'm not gonna I have no problem with Mont Blanc pricing. The question is, would you sign your child's birth certificate with a preppy? I would absolutely would sign my child's birth certificate with a preppy. Yeah, and then Lamy for Life brings up Mont Blanc inks on the flip side. They're a great value. Lamy Pico, I would sign it with a Lamy Pico. I would probably switch out the blue ink cartridge, but... That's an answer the uh, Mont Blanc rollerball owners. Yeah, I, I agree with all that. I'm with you. I love the preppy. I need to get my Procyon review done. That's going to be sooner rather than later when we were um, breaking, breaking those out the other day. Mont Blancs were some of my first nice fountain pen, nice pens, flat pens. I think that's a, a lot of people's first. Yeah, Kate, okay. once I get it updated, I'll sign it with whatever the heck pen I want. We need to get Mike's Vision Air just for that. Get him to ship it to me so I can send to you the visionaire. That would be amazing. <laughs> Most precious pen is any pen I'm using. Yeah, that's why I, would, I never judge pens. Um, yeah, use the pen, use the pen that you, that's going to work. Especially use a pre preppy because I'm using one of the neuters. More permanent than stone inks. That is a true, true statement. Preppies are good for ruining and replacing. Preppy with carbon black. That's a killer combo for about seven bucks. That's what I was talking about. I think it was with Carol last stream. Is like I get just pure joy out of using something like a Preppy with a carbon black refill in it. And that's like, you know, I have like six or seven dollars into that pen. Then I have a six or seven hundred dollar pen sitting right next to it. And it's like, I get the same joy out of both. Found a Mont Blanc ball, ballpoint in my own drawer. The refill is dried out and I know enough refills to look at getting a new one. Yeah, those are, those are easy to replace. That would be awesome to bring the Iopena. Nate, like Nate Champion, I think Noodlers is missing an opportunity to at least have Bay State Blue ink cartridges so people can use them for preppies. Make them with the platinum fittings. You know, not even like international cartridges. Just make like have like a nod to like platinum in those preppies because a lot of people use them as disposable pens. And do a Bay State Blue cartridge with a platinum fitting. Just skip the international fittings completely. There you go. How do you overfill an ink cartridge? I guess you can, um, I don't know. I feel like that's a trick question. I have a Pentel RSVP at work and it's kind of disappointing. That is a fact, Bork and Bork. Those are way overhyped. They are not good. Uh, sorry, Paul. The 
RSVP was one of those pins that everyone said, you got to try this, you got to try this. It's the best of what it is, and it's not the best of what it is. It was a bad noodler's joke. <laughs> got my first Kaveco Sport Classic as a gift, and I'm going to run that eyedropper. I like it. I haven't done that yet, though, on the on the Kaveco, so it should be perfect for it, though. My recent purchase is 30X Loop, 48 pin case. What about y'all? I don't know. I'm going to go shopping one day this week. Um, I saw a bunch of stuff I want to order for review. It's for sure a nostalgia pin and affordable. Yeah. And it's also a pin spinners pin. The RSVP is, is a big hackable pin spinners pin because of the way the barrel shaped. And it's very even, evenly related, evenly related, evenly weighted, <laughs> related. So yeah. No defense, no defense needed for the Mont Blancs. But yeah, I wanted to like the RSVP more than I did, but at least there's something like the Acroball or the Jetstream or something for the the ball points and the um what was what was Pentel Pentel did in like a super rolly not the recent stuff. Not the recent Pentels. There was one with the same color barrels. I reviewed them. I'm blanking on the name. Like they had an exclamation point in the marketing, in the name. That's going to drive me crazy. Paul may know. It was like the yo or something like that <laughs> and it was actually a pretty decent pin got lucky on saturday and found a lami all the wow see i was close the wow the yo <laughs> yeah the wows were not terrible pins those were better than the rsvps Pilot better, ballpoint still holds up. Does it really? Or is that like a nostalgia trip? Because I never have a great experience with the better. And that was one of my pins when I was a kid growing up that I lived for. Shannis, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Ballpoint refill for my cross click Monteverdi versus Parker. Um,. minimal discernible difference i don't no wrong answer are y'all gonna make me review the pilot better again i like it the small tip sizes is what got me got me got me right like the small tip sizes is what i what i really really like robert oster fire on fire what are y'all talking about own zero orange inks rex for a good one to own <laughs> I will I will third the the fire on fire recommendation. That's my ink. I wonder if you could find metal or plastic pins that you wanted Frankenstein, but the threads just don't match up right. I wonder if you could just thread the correct thread pattern to cutting through to the current thread. It would change the diameter so much you wouldn't be you would have a very small chance of success of putting it back together. In theory, yes. In practicality, you're going to change the dimensions so much that your attachments are going to be all wonky. As in, it just won't. I have a problem now that I have been using fountain pens. Uh, ballpoint pens are hard to use. Yeah, I guess I use enough of them that um, when I find a good one, like I, I really enjoy it. Like the 849 and the Jetstream primarily like i'm but i'm sitting here killing this refill today like the lami pico the m22 lami is brad serious question how are you not drawn into the dupro du uh, bob dupras brooks mckenzie turnt pens other makers original poor resin i know you talk about brooks but these are crazy impressive i'm captivated by all of them i'm captivated but i can't buy all of them so i'm like cool like i have my brooks um um, bestseller, you know, I have my 
primary manipulation Stromboli. I need more shapes or features than just the material, right? So then I get these materials in an Estabrook or I get these materials in a Canalea and I have all these different materials and these different representations of pen designs. So I don't need the next one today, right? So I'm able to just like sit back and wait and say, that's the one and then I'll buy that one. So it's not a, it's not a temptation for me. But then I've been then this has been sitting over here the entire time and I'm saying I really like this pen. So it's like it's like I get it too. I just can't buy everything. Like I'm actually on a I'm not on buying like I still buy a lot of pens to review. But like on a personal pen collection, I haven't been on like a super buying kick. But then like I stare like I said, I stare at this and love it. Like we talked about Atelier Lusso in the podcast today. Like, I love those micarta pens. It's just like I can't buy them all. But that doesn't mean I don't love them and, and respect what they are. So, there you go. I hope that helps. I hope that explains it. Because, like, you know, I'd like a hardy pen rights. And I'd like, you know, all these different things. It's just a lot of the times I also want to see some of those at pen shows, right? Just to get the exact right material. Like, if I'm going to go for that. <clears throat> we need a Brooks Pelican collab. Now that would be amazing. It may just be, I'm going back up in here. I may just be a form, maybe the form factor more than anything, but I'm sucker for the boxy 100. I agree with that. Pin BBS, the reins. Pin BBS does some great, great inks. Did you talk material redacted pins show on, on the show today? Yes. So we did a uh, micarta talk. Um, I gave a shout out to Stilo Art and uh, Atelier Lusso, neither of which I own a Mercado version of, but I, they are on the list of like things. Does anyone have a James Finnis pen? I do not. We kind of alluded to that on the podcast today, Nate Champion. It's it's actually worth men mentioning that it would be worth knowing the spectrum of blank makers. Some are good and some aren't as gifted. Like, that's a, yes, I mean, I agree with that. And we kind of alluded to that um, today, just in, in general. Have to head out to get the boys fed. You're a fun raid. Thank you. Hope you come back someday. If you have any pen questions, let me know. I'm glad to help. You have a great day, too. Appreciate you. <clears throat> Are you going to any pen shows this year? Today, as I answer this question, the answer is No. I am open to have that change. But I'm not actively planning on going to any pin shows. Asterisk, subject to change. So. Who knows? Who knows? What are you talking about, head full of ideas? I got disconnected on the, that conversation. Oh, hey, if, if anyone's still there from the raid earlier, like Black Cat, we should do a giveaway. I give away things. You need like, oh, okay. So it's a ballpoint. Why haven't I heard of this one? Oh, it's like the boxy, but not. Hang on, let me pull this up real quick. Then we'll do a giveaway. Fancy boxy. Okay, I have not heard of this. I would totally see. This is the kind of thing that like gets me going. Um, I've reviewed the box boxy on the blog. Y'all can go check that out. So this is a sustainable, highly recyclable, and sustainable paper and plastic alternative material. Its main raw material is limestone, hence the Limex name. <clears throat> Essentially identical to the boxy one hundred. It just has the limestone material barrel that's pretty cool i will totally order one of those next time i order something from yoseka that's cool i'm down with that all right let's do a giveaway second giveaway of the day i have an idea 
I think I have one of these. Sounds like the material on stone paper. Yeah, I think those were limestone too. So I thought of the giveaway today while we were doing the podcast. And I think we have a pin that we discussed on the podcast for giveaway today. It's not going to be for everybody. Because it's a little specific. Let me see if I have it before I ruin this whole bit. But I think I think I do, which is why I'm I'm into the bit. So this is called the ice box of happiness back here for all you new new people. It is not a not a Namiki. For all you new viewers, I do giveaways pretty much all stream. We'll do, you know, one, two, three giveaways. Is it a dangerous giveaway? Not as danger dangerous as the pencil sharpener, but uh I'm pretty sure this is what I think it is. Yep, it is. All right. So that's the glorious giveaway cabinet. It's the Visionaire. I do not own a Visionaire. I would have had that in use a long time ago if I did. So we're going to put this on the camera and do a reveal. Y'all are going to be very disappointed, just so you know. Very disappointed. But it goes, it's in theme. It's in theme with the podcast today. If you were a live listener, you probably you might have a guess. All right, so let's see. Let me open this up so we can do a camera reveal. Hmm. All right, so I have to cut the sticker, but it's going to be worthwhile. So whoever whoever wins this pin, just know that I am the one who opened the sticker on the barrel. That probably leads y'all... A lot of you who know things about pens probably now know at least what brand this is. Well, the sticker's not on the pen. It was on the pen box. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Twisby Go. Twisby Go. Big, big topic on the pin show today. Very disappointing probably for a lot of... Did you call it? No, Evan called it. Yep, there you go. Um, this is a crazy, crazy pen. Um, it's really awesome. If you're new to pens, you have to have a bottle of ink to fill it with. But once you do, it's pretty amazing. Does this have a stub nib? This is a 1.1 millimeter stub Twisby Go. <laughs> So there you have it. Um, does this just pull? Yeah, it just pulls. Well, just in case, you know, some people don't like the Twisby Go, but it's a pretty rad pen. And I and I was playing it up big. Um, and it's like a twenty dollar pen. This is a Twisby Go with a stub nib, which is your perfect ink testing pen, right? So you just dip it in the bottle, spring in the ink. And then you have a stub nib to test ink. It's the one. It is so cool. It is loads of fun for not much money. That's exactly right. Perfect shimmer ink pen. So it's as easy to clean as it is to fill because you just put it in water and plunge the whole thing until it comes out. You can never have too many for ink testing. So there you go. Get it? There you go. I didn't even mean that. All right, so this is uh, Twisby Go. We're gonna give this away. I'm gonna put it back in the box. Switch this camera back. All right, still in the little box of Rooney there for the Twisby. Sounds like an engineer's dream, cheap and functional. This is very, very much, very much like it. Doug, I did get your address yesterday. Thanks for doing that. I will get your pen out to you tomorrow. Tomorrow, maybe Thursday. It, this week. I will get them out this week. All right, Twisby Go. I will show y'all how to enter one moment. Let me get the details ready. All right, so I'm going to hit open giveaway. And then you do type in exclamation point raffle, and you're automatically entered. How much gas will it hold? It's a good question. I should have had this out um, earlier. 
for the gas shortage in our area. That is some facts. All right, we're probably gonna wrap it up after this giveaway. Tomorrow, we're gonna do a Gravitas opening, box opening. Thursday, we'll do some pin shopping because I've been seeing some stuff I need for review, which is different than stuff I have for my personal pin library. So I'll review anything, but will I own them? The crisis that turned out not to matter at all, that the first words out of my mouth to my wife were, this will be over in like a few days. Like, are you good on gas today? Yeah, by the time we need gas again, it's gonna be fine. Will Brooks Arushi it if I win it? I think you will, that would be amazing. Although I don't know how well it would stick to this plastic. You have to sand the whole thing down. That'd be a hot mess. I'm sure he would hate you for life. That's another pen I need to ink up. That pen I do have, the Lamy Safari Arushi. It's my original Arushi pen that's lost. Pen Addict, how do you have the patience to not just open any package as soon as you get it? I'm weird about that, and I've got uh, Brian, my partner at Spoke Pen, um, said the same thing. He's like, how do you just not open it when you get it to not know what's inside of it? I was like, I have to be in the right mental space and time to enjoy opening the thing. And usually it's that I'm going to be ready to use the thing that I'm opening. So I can wait days knowing what's in the box and not opening it until I'm ready to like actively participate in whatever <laughs> in using using whatever that is. So Brad, what time tomorrow do you think? I think 10 a.m. Eastern. I think we're going to do 10 a.m. the next two days. Yeah, 10 a.m. Eastern next two days. That hurts your soul. It apparently hurts Brian's soul too because he called me out. He called me out. What about an Arushi Preppy? Oof. That would be another one. That would be a cap nightmare. All right, let's pick a winner. The winner is the person that won, and that person who won is Mafia Geek 31. You got to call me out on that. That's fair. Fair game. Fair game. You can call me out all the time. All right, Mafia Geek, you know the rules. Let's see. <laughs> Bitgoat. All right. Got wafer chocolate cookies. Ooh, I like wafer cookies. So, yes, I would like some. All right. We got Mafia Geek. We got Duck of Prey. We'll get those yesterday's. I'm going to have a bunch of giveaways to ship up. I'll probably, now that I think about it, it might be this weekend because I might give, I have giveaways tomorrow and Thursday to do. So we'll do that um, before I ship all these out, I think. So maybe Thursday afternoon we'll do some shipping. See how it goes. <clears throat> all right. Thanks for hanging out today, chat. I'm going to go eat lunch. It's been a long morning with the podcast, then the stream, but it's been fun. It's always fun to talk pins. Uh, thanks for the raid earlier. Hope y'all enjoyed the stream. Thanks for all of you. Oh, thank you, Clay Rude. I will get on that. We will raid Mike momentarily. My good buddy, Mike Independent. So we will pass on the love to him. So thank y'all so much. Um, let, me get, uh, let me get set up here for Mike while I'm still rambling here. So I don't forget. So I don't accidentally end the stream. 
So y'all definitely got to go over to Mike and throw some throw some pen emotes. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for joining the podcast earlier. Thanks for all the gift subs and just love in the stream today. It's freaking out of bounds. Y'all are just, I love y'all so much. Uh, Ink Dependence Mike. We found him. He's playing No Man's Sky again. Awesome, awesome stream. Awesome game to stream. So I'm going to send y'all over there. We're going to kick this off here in just a second. All right. Got your membership. Awesome stereo sound. I think I'm caught up. We're going to send y'all to Mike. I'll see y'all tomorrow.